am Dr. Nataraj KS. I am head of the department of hematology and bone marrow transplant services in Sri Shankara Cancer Hospital and Research Center. We are one of the largest cancer specialty center in Karnataka and in fact in India. We treat our patients as per the standards prevailing in any of the western countries and our treatment protocols are as per the standards and as per the latest information that is available for science. On the occasion of World Leukemia Day, today we will discuss a little bit about what is leukemia and then what are the types of leukemia, how one can diagnose leukemia and what needs to be done once, once somebody is diagnosed with leukemia and is it a life-threatening disease or is it just a, some mild disease which can be managed very easily. Let us see each one by one. Now coming to what is leukemia. Leukemia is a cancer which starts in the bone marrow and comes to blood and then it usually is life threatening unless it is treated appropriately in right time. Normally all the blood forming cells that is blood cells which form hemoglobin, WBC and platelets reside in bone marrow and when the order of management of these cells goes away because of various reasons, environmental, genetic and so many other reasons, the cells become inorderly and then they start producing bad cells or cancer cells and ultimately these are called as leukemic cells. Once somebody is diagnosed with leukemia, the cancer cells will be circulating in the blood. So that means that if there is a cancer in the blood, it is there everywhere in the body starting from head to toe, everywhere. So that is why every leukemia is a stage 4 cancer and no leukemia can be uh, cured with just a surgery. The only treatment which is available which can be done for leukemia is chemotherapy and other auxiliary treatments such as bone marrow transplantation etc. No surgery can cure leukemias. Now coming to what are the types of leukemias? There are two major types of leukemias. One is acute leukemia, second is chronic leukemias. In acute leukemias, there are two major varieties. One is acute myeloid leukemia and acute lymphoblastic leukemia. And in chronic leukemias, there are two major, major varieties. One is chronic myeloid leukemia, another one is chronic lymphocytic leukemia. Now coming to acute myeloid leukemia. Acute myeloid leukemia few years back, about 20 years back, it was an incurable disease with no treatment options and then anybody would die with once the disease is diagnosed. But now with the recent advances and then advances in the therapeutic way, of finding milder drugs and then finding milder tablets so that even the elderly and then unfit can receive the treatment and in uh, finding new modalities of therapy such as bone marrow transplant now almost 60 percent of acute myeloid leukemia patients can be cured so once somebody is diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia we evaluate for fitness and start them on chemotherapy and once the chemotherapy is given the good, bad, everybody, every every cell would die and then we hope and then we expect the good ones to recover. Once the cancer is controlled, then we would find what are the different, what is the response to chemotherapy and then how was the uh, behavior of the cancer with the, in the form of genetic tests and everything and then we would decide whether they, we would just give chemotherapy or we do a different procedure called bone marrow transplant. About uh, one third of the acute myeloid leukemias can be cured with just with chemotherapy and remaining in remaining two third half of them can be cured with the procedure called bone marrow transplant. So on an average 60% of acute myeloid leukemia patients can be cured with uh, available modalities of treatment. About 20 years back it was only about 15 to 20% of them would get cured. Now next one coming to acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Acute lymphoblastic leukemia commonly happens in younger population. Usually it happens in less than 10 year old. And once when you see a patient with acute lymphoblastic leukemia, about 20 years or 30 years back, or even in fact about 15, 16 years back, your heart would melt away because majority of the children would die with this kind of, with kind, with this kind of uh, diagnosis. But now it is not so. With the available treatment, therapeutic modalities, almost about 85 to 90 percent of kids can be cured. The most important thing is sticking to the treatment schedules and then following up with the doctor appropriate times accordingly as per the advice and then uh, taking treatments in a right way will almost cure about 85 to 90 percent of kids nowadays. 
Usually treatments would last for six to eight months in near the hospital. They have to stay near the hospital. Half of the treatment will be in the hospital, remaining half from coming and going type of uh, therapies and daycare. And then remainder of another one and a half to two and a half years of tablet form of chemotherapy. So majority of these acute lymphoblastic leukemic children can be cured with this, about 90%. I think that is a major leap in uh, any cancer care. No other cancer has uh, that level of cure. Next one is, uh, what are chronic leukemias? There are two major varieties of chronic leukemias as I have already told. One is chronic myeloid leukemia, second is chronic lymphocytic leukemia. Chronic myeloid leukemia, it happens specifically because of a mutation which happens in the cells which produce normal blood, a mutation called BCR ABL translocation which happens that results in development of chronic myeloid leukemia. About 15 to 20 years back, chronic myeloid leukemic patients would have only one option called hydroxyurea or busulfan. These are the two tablets which we were giving, which would majorly give a lifespan of about another two to three years and they would die. But with the modern invention and the chemistry uh, in the form of 3D structures and everything, there is a specific drug which goes and binds to that mutation like a lock and key called imatinib which has changed the way that we look at chronic myeloid leukemia. Now we have chronic myeloid leukemic patients who are living more than 20 years, 30 years, 15, I'm sorry to say, sorry, it's not 20 years because the drug has come from last 20 years. In India, it is there from last 15 years. So more than 15 years, there are so many patients who are living. And there are patients in whom now we are stopping the drug because they get cured. So this is one beauty of modern uh, science where a disease which would have almost 100% mortality has changed into almost leading a normal lifespan of any other PS. So chronic myeloid leukemia is just a tablet, not a tablet treatment. In fact, the tablet side effects are lesser than diabetes. Nowadays, I explain to patient of chronic myeloid leukemia as this chronic myeloid leukemia, if treated well, it's better than the diabetes because it doesn't produce side effects on the other organs like diabetes which uh, hurts kidneys, heart, etc, etc, etc. Next one is chronic lymphocytic leukemia. Chronic lymphocytic leukemia is usually a disease of elderly. It happens in uh, patients who are more than 55-60 years and it is incurable disease even with modern treatment but it doesn't, nevertheless even hypertension and diabetes are incurable diseases. So incurable disease doesn't take, should, should not take your heart away. I don't think anybody will get worried if somebody is diagnosed with diabetes of some loud one because there are drugs which can control and which can manage and they can lead a normal life. So in the same way, chronic lymphocytic leukemia too can be managed as and when it is required with the targeted therapies called rituximab. Rituximab is like a key which goes in search of a lock that is uh, uh, cancer cells which have CD20 receptors and it will go just find find it, bind it and kill it. So it, it has changed the way that we were treating. Previously more than 55-60 years giving strong chemotherapies would have been very hard and then chemotherapy side effects would have killed majority of the people. But with the invention of these kind of new drugs side effects are very minimal and then it can be given to even elderly people as elderly as 80 years, 70 years or even 90 years with if the other organs and everything is fine. So my friends, I would like to say one most important thing. If anybody is diagnosed with leukemia, don't get scared, don't be worried. Most important thing is reaching a right, reaching a facility which can treat leukemia or which can treat this kind of advanced diseases or high risk diseases appropriately in a timely manner. If somebody becomes extremely sick and then get the patient, I don't think anybody can salvage. Most important thing is coming to the hospital or reaching the hospital at right time makes a difference for majority of the patients. Patients who come with uh, good fitness without any infection, a uh, lot of them can be cured. Like for example, in acute myeloid leukemia, 60% can be cured. In acute lymphoblastic leukemia in children, 90%. In adults, 60%. Chronic myeloid leukemia is just a tablet away. And then chronic lymphocytic leukemia is just targeted therapies. There is a special variety of acute myeloid leukemia called AMLM3 that is a acute promyelocytic leukemia is what we call it is if treated properly 90 percent of them we can cure so i don't think any cancer of any other organ has the ability to get uh, this kind of responses so please 
don't be scared when somebody is diagnosed with acute leukemia reach hospital whichever you trust and then get treated uh, early in an appropriate way now lot of you might have as a have a worry doctor and lot of course a lot of patients do come and ask me these kind of questions doctor what are the long term side effects of acute uh, this kind of chemotherapies which are given for acute leukemias because you are telling that about 70% 60% will get cured so if they get cured do they become like better than long term or do they do they develop any side effects or does any of the children develop any long term side effects usually in about uh, whatever i have said in the, the patients who get cured in you know, in them about 80% will not have any long term side effects about 20% can have some long term side effects but majority of them are manageable few of them about less than 5% are life threatening but mind you worrying about these long term side effects if you don't treat them if you don't treat a patient with acute leukemia or chronic leukemia 100% would die so with the available advent uh, with the available therapies which are currently in place even in india we are, i think in india has india has got the best health, uh, health infrastructure system and then most affordable medicines when compared to any other country but only lack is we do not have insurance which i think everybody should have over the time and then majority of the cancers must be conquerable and then that too specifically in leukemias about 60% can be cured thank you